that tomorrow. From the helmet camera of Shane Kimbrough, you can start to see that solar array unfurl. The blanket's becoming clearer as it makes its way up. The full deployment sequence takes about six minutes. Your positioning looks great. We can see a very good view of those magnets in your helmet cam. Toma, we are going to have you move to the right side of the mod kit to get in a similar position viewing our Rosa un unfurling. This will work. Nice and slow, Toma. Yeah. The first of the six planned IROSA new solar arrays to augment the power systems of the International Space Station started deploying at 10.24 a.m. Central Time. The International Space Station was 261 statute miles over the North Pacific Ocean, just west off the coast of California. See the magnets, uh, the first four and the fifth is snapping together as we speak. Yeah, the first five are snapped. Good magnets. Copy. We see that yeah. in your helmet view. Looks good, guys. It is beautiful. Again, the IROSA or the ISS rollout solar array is about 15 feet wide and 60 feet long. The deployment sequence takes about six minutes. It'll be some time until the solar array, uh, the solar arrays themselves, the blankets start drawing in power to confirm a good power draw. In the meantime, after the uh, deployment sequence is complete, Pesquet has uh, a final task to secure the... Everything's looking good, you two. 30 seconds to hand over. We're going to keep you in this position. Enjoying the view, Johnny. Copy. About halfway done with the deployment, the solar cells will uh, draw power over time and we'll later be able to confirm that power is being drawn from the um, IROSA. Pesquet will hold his position uh, right uh, in front of a series of other bolts called tensioner bolts. Once the uh, IROSAs are fully deployed at 60 feet, uh, he'll use his pistol grip tool or his space drill to secure those tensioner bolts and keep the IROSA fully deployed. That will be the last of the tasks on the 2B power channel. Next will be a cleanup and moving some of their equipment over to the 4B side. Again, this is the first of six planned IROSAs that will augment the power supply of the International Space Station, continuing scientific research and uh, technology development aboard the International Space Station for years to come. The 2B power channel provides critical power to a lot of important scientific experiments downstream. The 4B channel will be next. There's a modification kit already installed on the mast canister where the uh, new IROSA, which is currently at the end of the station's robotic arm, that will be moved uh, over on a spacewalk now scheduled for next Friday, the 25th. The spacewalkers' remaining tasks after securing the 2B channel will be to prepare the 4B channel and the work site necessary uh, for moving the new solar array over to that new 
power channel. IROSA continuing to deploy as the station flies 262 statute miles right over Portland, Oregon. You see some uh, that nice snowy mountains, years from side to side. Not bad. Oh, we have no idea. How are you both doing in that position? I'm doing good. I think my position is uh, much more comfortable than she. I'm hanging in there. Copy. Can you tell us which part of the world we're overflowing right now? Check in. Uh, I can uh, at least give you this, Shane. We have what we need from your view, so you can relax and get in a more comfortable position. Uh, Tama will keep you in position, and I'm checking for you. Okay. Thank you. You just always know that. What do you know? It's Canada. I knew it. Thank you, Jenny. I think it's very fitting. Thanks for asking. Two Foistels on console with me, as you know, as well. So, it's a party down here. Nice. Great views of the Rocky Mountains in the background as the International Space Station flies over Canada. Jenny Seide, uh, the ground IV here in Mission Control Houston, a Canadian Space Agency astronaut working next to Drew Foistel, NASA astronaut and a dual citizenship with Canada. All right, good news, you two. You probably can see 
most of what we can see, we're tracking a full and good deploy of that solar array. So well done, both of you. We are going to move on to blanket tensioning bolts. So that has Toma on the inboard side at the center of the mounting bracket. Okay, well done, Johnny, and congrats to America News, everybody who was involved in that project. Be good now. Likewise, and I agree, that was great to see. Well done. Okay, tensioning bolts. Like about a flight. Confirmed good deployment of the first IROSA, the new solar array that is part of a plan to augment the power systems uh, on board the International Space Station. That deployment took about 10 minutes, but we did get confirmation that the deployment uh, is, is good. Tama Pesquet will finish up the job by um, the NZGL securing two tension bolts uh, that will secure the IROSA 